Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 50 Global Variables. Um, if you know CS5, the Action Script 3 does not support global variables as as was in the Action Script 2. But before this tutorial is over, I'm going to show you how to do something that is very similar to a global variable. And by a global variable, we mean it's a variable that can be put on scene one, for example, on its timeline, and it can be tested or incremented or decremented inside of a movie clip, which cannot be done by a regular variable. I have an FLA opened here, and I'm going to go through it quickly with you to show, what I, show you what I have. I have four layers. The bottom layer is called but, B-U-T-T, -T, scene one. It's a button on scene one, so I'm going to unlock that layer, and it's this here. It's a button, and it's the text saying it's scene one. And if I click this, click on this button and open the properties panel, it has an instance name, B-U-T-T, -T, scene one underscore button. And I'm doing that because we're going to write some code with it on frame on layer two, I have something similar. I have a movie clip. So if I click on it once, highlight it, there it is. It's called MC1 underscore MC. It's a movie clip. And if I go inside of it and highlight this, this is it inside of it. It's the button, B-U-T MC1 underscore B-T-N. And we're going to use that instance name to write code for it. If I go back to scene one, layer three, I have the same thing here for a movie clip MC2. And inside that movie clip, I have the but, B-U-T, MC2 underscore B-T-N. And if I go back to scene one and look at it, it has a movie clip name, movie clip MC2 underscore MC. And finally, I have a layer where we're going to put action script. And the, let's open that actions panel and see what little bit of action script I have here. This is declaring a variable. And all a variable is, is a place to store, in this case, a number, a value. There are text variables, there are many variables. Um, as a matter of fact, if I went here and went colon, there's all the things you can do after that variable sentence. So, but I'm going to have a number, capital N U M, and because it's highlighted here, I can hit enter, and then I say equals to zero semicolon. Okay. That's a variable. It's not doing anything yet, so let's take the next line and let's increment that. So I'm just going to say count, C O U N T. Actually, I'm going to make that a capital C. Let's get something I'm doing. Uh, count uh, plus plus. Plus plus. Semicolon. All that means is when I, when I enter this frame, the variable count will be zero. And as soon as I enter this frame, this will say increment by one. And let's see that happen. So I'm going to trace T R A C E open bracket C O U N T I think this will work and let's just test this test movie and there's the one so it traced that and it incremented it was a variable that was at zero and it went to one whoopee you're saying well we just want to show you what the limitations are of this of a variable so let's cut this, select those, cut them. And let's try to have that take place inside of the movie clip. So I'm going to cut this. Going to open up the movie clip 1, MC1. Unlock this layer that has the button on it, insert layer. Call this one Action Script AS. 
and I'm just going to paste this in for a minute. So now, I'm not going to depend on this being an on enter frame type thing, or hand it, I'm going to have this now controlled by a button. So now let's put in some code for that button that is on this movie clip one. So type, 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 type. Here it is. The button was called BUT, capital B, capital MC, one underscore button, period, add event listener, open bracket, it's a mouse event, period, click, all capital letters, comma, and I'm calling this add to my variable. That's what I'm calling it. Close bracket, semicolon, and this is the function that's going to be controlled by this button. Function, it's purple. Copy this, paste it in here, open bracket, event, colon, mouse event, capital M, capital E, close bracket, colon, void. There's my open curly bracket for my function, my close curly bracket for my function, and I'm going to trace, just trace, open bracket, and in quotations, I got button pushed MC1, close bracket, semicolon, and I'm also going to put these two lines in here. I'm going to cut these and put them down here, paste them. Now, I suspect it won't work because it cannot recognize this thing called count. So let's test the movie. And there's what happened. Access of undefined property count because it is not a global variable and we cannot access it inside of a movie clip. So that will not work and what we have to do is something slightly, slightly different. So let's go back to scene one and let's open that action script panel and we're going to give it a name, call it global count, G-L-O-B-A-L, -L, meaning that I'm hoping to use it in more than one spot on my, on my program. That's the first thing I want to do. Let's go back to that movie clip, movie clip one, open it up, and let's, for now, comment all this out for a second. So to do that, backslash asterisk there, asterisk backslash. That'll comment that all that out for us. And up here at the very beginning, I'm going to type in this. Type, 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 type. I'm putting a variable inside of this movie clip, mc1 underscore mc. So var and I'm calling it count. Remember on scene one we have a variable but we change it to uh, global count so they're not the same. It's called count and there's my colon. It tells me it's a movie clip. It's going to act like a movie clip and as it's going to equal to movie clip capital M capital C again open bracket root close bracket semicolon so what it's doing it's saying I'm making a variable, this is how I look at it, that is going to act like a movie clip and it will act as if it's on, also on scene one, which is the root scene. So that's what this is basically saying. Let's go back to scene one for one minute and let's just copy this. Just right click copy, global count, back to that movie clip one and inside of it and if you're not on the actions panel you go to the timeline open the actions panel up let's get rid of these out of here for a minute and here where I have this count I'm not directly going to do this count I'm going to do this count and put a period here and paste in that variable from scene one so it's now treating this word count 
as if it were directly connected to this global variable count that we're calling it and we're going to increment that and at the same time we're going to look here I'm going to paste that same thing in here with a period we're going to trace trace this so now every time we click the button it's going to say button pushed MC1 that's the movie clip that's the blue one it's going to say the, the count's going to increment. It's going to start at 0, going 1, 2. So let's give that a try. Control, test movie. I don't think we have any errors. Errors? No. This one ain't doing anything. This one ain't doing anything. But this one should. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm controlling that variable, which is on scene 1 inside of that movie clip number 1. I'm inside the actions panel for my movie clip one we just have all this code so let's copy this select it all right click copy it let's open my movie clip our movie clip number two here it is and I'm sure that's the lock that layer insert a layer call it action script AS select that first frame open it paste it in here this stays the same to let us know we're using it in this movie clip that we're going to use this root connection back to frame one but now it's movie clip number two button and I'm going to say add to variable number two so make that a different function otherwise it won't work and I'm telling myself here when I trace it, it's going to be 2. And again, the same thing. Every time I press this button, it should also increment. So let's test it. There's no errors. I haven't got this button's not doing anything yet, but this one will increment it. 1, 2, 3. And I'm pressing button 1. Now I'm pressing button 2. Back to button 1. Now let's make this button in here do the same thing. That should be pretty simple. See, but let's copy it again. Right click, copy this. Let's go back to scene one. And this I know I recognize as being the, the scene one. And let's paste this in. And it's not button two we're going to use anymore. It's this button called B U T T S C E N E one. So it's B U T T S C E one, I think underscore B T N. I'm just gonna check it. B U T T S C E one. Yep. Okay, it looks good to me. And put a one in here to let me know what's happening on scene one. And I'm putting a scene one here. S C E one here. Now, because this variable is right here, I don't need to go and put this count in. I don't need this. So get rid of this count and and the period get rid of this count and the period now we should be able to control this variable from any of those three buttons control test my movie no errors it doesn't matter which one I press first this is a count one two the scene one scene one three scene one movie clip two and each time it's incrementing I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.